Okay, so I'd been out on, a, on an operation. Uh, probably I'd been out for 12, 14 days, and I came back to our camp in Bami Tuat, and whenever you came back off of an operation or a mission, you got a free beer at the club, which was a cool thing. So I went in, I was still camoed up, or somewhat camoed up, because the camo rubs off and stuff, and I walked in and, and ordered a beer, and I'm sitting there drinking a beer, and all of a sudden this person walks up to me and grabs my head and sticks her tongue down my ear and says, you sweet motherfucker. And it was Martha Ray, who was a, a well-known comedian at the time in the, in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Uh, and she, had, she was actually a, a nurse in the Army Reserve. She was a lieutenant colonel. And so she sat down with me and she's drinking straight vodka. And so I drank a beer and she drank the vodka and, and, and she told me, she said, hey, look, you know, I've got a house and a housekeeper in Beverly Hills. She said, I've told everybody else that I've run into and, and, and you're one of my boys. If you ever need a place to stay, you can stay at my team house in, in, in Beverly Hills or wherever it was, Brentwood or wherever it was she lived. And she said, you can have all the food you want. You can have all the drink you want. You can stay as long as you want. And if I run into any good looking starlets, I'll try to hook you up. And I, shit, what more could I ask for? That's pretty cool. And a day or two later, she was still in our camp. She was staying in our camp with us. Everybody started passing the word that they lost Maggie, Martha Ray. Everybody called her Maggie. They said they'd lost her. And they started checking around and Giania, the A camp that was here in this vicinity, was under siege. And they were taking some pretty heavy casualties and so Martha Ray just jumped on a helicopter that was coming down here to bring supplies, medical supplies, and she came down to help. And this is where she was. And of course, everybody got all upset about that because she was kind of a celebrity type person, even though she was really a nurse and she was doing a hell of a job down here at GNN. So at that time, they loaded up uh, my team and, a, and another team and a, a platoon from the expo one of the exploitation companies that banned me to it and flew us in to reinforce the camp for a short period of time. And by the time we got here, most everything was already over with, but we rescued Martha Ray, I guess. You know, we, we like to tell everybody we re rescued Martha Ray, but she was just fine. And she was being one hell of a professional nurse and one hell of a person. Uh, so that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, not too many years later, uh, I went to her funeral at Fort Bragg. She asked to be buried at the Post Cemetery at Fort Bragg with all of her boys. And she was. She was somebody that really meant a lot to all of us. And she was a very neat lady. And even though she was a woman, she was part of the Brotherhood because she was an honorary Green Beret. We gave her a Green Beret officially and all that stuff. And she wore it till the day she died and it went on top of her casket. Wow, didn't know it hit me that hard. <laughs> she was a great person. It was a, she had an interesting life. And I mean, she knew all the stars of Hollywood at that time, which was cool. I, I never saw her again after that uh, in, in life. But it's strange where you run into people and, and the, the attachments you make uh, in such a small world as special operations.